Hello everyone, welcome to Urbanscape Bangalore and in this episode we will be learning about the Tacoma Alata or the Tacoma Orange Jubilee. So the common names are Orange Bells, Orange Trumpet Flower and the Bells of Fire. Whereas Bells of Fire is more crimson red and the plant I have here also has a tinge of red in its flower. And that makes it stand out. So this subtropical to tropical plant is a climbing plant but it does not have tendrils like in the case of the other wines like garlic wine etc. This just flops over a support like the alamander and this is majorly grown for its shrubby growth. I also have the pink trumpet wine which is also scientifically called Podrenia rica soliana. The origins of this plant trace back to Peru. This is a somewhat drought tolerant plant once established in the soil. But prolonged exposure to drought might not be very beneficial for this plant. This is a heat loving plant and is sensitive to frost. This is a sun loving plant. The more the sun, the better its flowering will be. This plant especially would change the color of its flowers to a crimson red if exposed to more sunlight. Your plant will look like it is on fire. This generally loves well-draining soil with a lot of organic matter in it. It does not like alkaline soil, so increase the use of organic matter in your soil to make the soil more acidic. Regular watering during summer months and sparse watering during winters would be ideal. As in the case of the other plants, this also does not like overwatering. So now let us take out this plant from this grow bag and see how the root system looks like. So as you can see this plant is not very root bound, you just have to tease a little, do not overdo your teasing because it could be detrimental to the growth of the plant. So now I have taken a decent sized container with a drainage hole at the bottom. Also ensure that you add broken tiles or other crocs in the bottom so that the plant is not sitting in water. The potting mix that I will be using is 50% sand, 30% garden soil and 20% compost. Fertilize the plant with a well-balanced fertilizer or just wormy compost every month to keep the plant going. It blooms especially during the spring, summer months and also sometimes during the winter months in tropical and subtropical regions. After adding the soil, place the plant in the middle and make sure that while you backfill, you do not bring the level of the soil above the existing level of the soil of the plant. Also, ensure to not fill the soil up to the rim of the container so as to allow deep percolation of water and avoid runoff. So I have not seen too many issues with aphids or mealy bugs on this plant but leaf eating insects like caterpillars love chewing on their leaves. Physical removal of these insects or pruning affected areas will help. This is a plant that loves pruning and gives out more growth with every cut. So if this plant is very weak or its defense mechanism is not working, then it could be attacked by some black aphids etc. You can additionally use neem oil pesticide to remove these aphids or just a jet of water would do. So let us talk about its propagation method. So you can easily grow this plant from a stem cutting of the old wood and also with the help of seeds. This is especially great to grow in bigger gardens where you can grow this in the ground. In containers, it may not reach its maximum potential. So now the only thing left is to water this plant and keep this in a sunny position. So with this, we have come to the end of this particular episode, but I would like to say something now. So my previous video must have made you all think on why you did not find any sound in it.
It was intentional and I felt that it is very important for us to not lose sight of the problems that people with hearing disabilities face. And with this, I wanted to encourage you all to be more inclusive and do your best to include them into the mainstream by facilitating their special needs. For this, I made it a point to add captions for that particular video myself. And I have enabled the closed caption option on YouTube for all of my videos. I also have enabled the translation contribution on my page. So any one of you using a laptop or a desktop can help translate my videos into your language of preference by just clicking on the three dots or the more option just below the video. Now click on the add translations and you can translate my videos into any language you want. This would not only help people with hearing disabilities but also will help a lot of people who do not understand Indian English. I will definitely fit in more such silent videos a little too often for I believe being inclusive is the right thing to do. After this long yarn session, we have come to the end of the episode. Thank you for watching Urbanscape Bangalore and until we meet again, goodbye.